Welcome. My name is uh, Aaron Cohen. I would like to thank all of you guys, both from the United States and overseas, for joining us uh, this evening. Um, fluorescent technologies have becoming more and more popular in recent years in uh, the neurosurgeon's armamentarium. More specifically, um, fluorescein, ICG, and 5ALA have become some of the three more common fluorophores that we use. Fluorescence is going to be a big part of neurosurgery, in my opinion. I'm a strong enthusiast, and I really believe that literally, literally the future is going to glow under the operating room uh, microscope. For, the, for this importance, I thought we'll start a series of web conferences and uh, uh, having a discussion regarding technologies that drive the fluorescent um, science or for us in science and how we can do um, better. Um, I would like to uh, start with my disclosures. The first one is that this is a talk that will include an off-label use of sodium fluorescein. Uh, what this means is that you can use sodium fluorescein for uh, the purpose of uh, brain tumors or vascular cases, as we'll talk about. You will not require an IRB if it's not for research. However, it's an off-label use. What's the agenda for this evening? The first um, part of the talk would be a brief review of current intraoperative fluorescent technologies for brain tumors. We're going to talk about advantages and disadvantages of fluorescein and um, uh, 5-ALA and ICG. And we're going to talk about a new filter uh, from uh, Zeiss Meditech uh, that uh, will allow us to use sodium fluorescein. Um, it's, uh, the filter is called Yellow 560 and it's integrated within the microscope. And just like Blue 400, it gives you an ability to uh, detect fluorescein at low levels and therefore be able to highlight or stain the tumor or the blood flow within the vessels. After that, we're going to go ahead and review some case presentations. It's nothing more really important than watching the uh, video and how this uh, works firsthand. At the end, we're going to discuss some of the vascular applications of fluorescein and why it could be better or worse, and how could it, um, um, in other words, complement ICG. And most importantly, you guys are going to have a chance to comment, ask your questions through the phone bridge that we um, uh, designed on the announcement. Please note that through your computers, you won't be able to um, comment, unfortunately, uh, because uh, of the way this platform is set up. Um, I don't have to really spend too much time. Why is it important to uh, uh, maximize resection of gliomas? First of all, we're talking about high-grade gliomas. There are 80% of primary um, malignant brain tumors. They're one of the most common causes of death among our patients, uh, among brain tumor patients. Therefore, this is an important topic. And we do know that extent of G GBM's resection or a high glioma high-grade glioma resection is a primary, primary determinant of a longer survival, and therefore whatever technology that will help us safely resect more tumor, we should be able to help the patient more. So the fluorescence technology is really one way to advance the care of our patients by allowing us to remove more uh, tumor. Um, so why, what is important in surgery? What are we having trouble and what are the shortcomings of the microscope by itself without the fluorescence technology? Number one, GBMs can be very similar to normal brain and can be difficult to be completely resected. They could feel different, they could look different under white light of a microscope. And most importantly, even for very experienced surgeons, you can actually miss the tails of the tumor within the folds of the resection cavity. If you can think of a resection cavity, when you remove the tumor in the middle, the whole cavity collapses. And those little folds within the, uh, within the resection cavity where those tumor cells are sort of hiding, that can be very difficult to remove. And most often you do a post-op MRI and say, you know what, I wish I could have just removed a little bit more tumor. Intraoperative MRI's technology has been helpful. However, it's very expensive, time-consuming and in my opinion, lengthens the surgery uh, really too much. Therefore, there should be a better way to maximize tumor resection, and that's what we're talking about this evening. 
So 